Hi students, let us now derive an expression for the coefficient of viscosity represented by the Greek symbol eta. So eta is called the coefficient of viscosity of any liquid. We consider the liquid in a streamlined flow or laminar flow. Now first let us consider water is flowing on the ground like a river. Now, whenever this water or any liquid will flow either in open or inside a closed pipe, it will divide into different layers. The liquid, the total liquid will not flow together. It will make itself into different layers. In the case of the liquid or water flowing on the ground in open, the top layer, the top layer will flow with a greater velocity. The highest velocity will be that of the top layer. And the layer which is in contact with the top layer, just next to it, will have a little lesser velocity. Subsequently, the velocity of the different layers of the liquid will decrease from the top to the bottom. And the last layer of the liquid which is in contact with the ground uh, will have zero velocity, nearly zero velocity or the least velocity. So in open surface, when water is flowing, the top surface will have the highest velocity and the bottom surface will have zero velocity. And the layers in between the top and the bottom will have gradually decreasing velocity from the top to the bottom. Similarly, if you take a closed pipe inside which water is flowing, the layer of the liquid which is flowing along the axis will have the greatest velocity and the other layers in contact with this will gradually have a decrease in velocity. So you can see in this pipe, uh, this is the axis. So a cylindrical layer flowing along the axis will have the highest velocity. And the next uh, coaxial cylinder will have little less velocity. And the last coaxial cylindrical liquid which is in contact with the inner walls of the tube will have the least velocity and it is assumed to be zero velocity. So in both the cases you can see here V1 is greater than V2 is greater than V3 up to V5. Like that here V1 is greater than V2 is greater than V3. Okay. So why it is because uh, there is an internal friction between the different layers. So an opposing force is going to act on uh, the liquid. This opposing force, uh, this opposing force is called as viscous force and uh, the property of the liquid which opposes uh, the relative motion between the different layers is called as viscosity. So viscous force is the opposing force between any two layers in contact. Okay, now what do you mean by relative motion here? What do you mean by relative velocity? We have studied already the velocity of one layer with respect to that of the other layer. So the first layer is going to move in the right hand side. Okay, this will be opposed by the second layer. The second layer will try to resist the motion of the first layer. Like that the third layer will try to resist the motion of the second layer in contact. So that this opposing force only is called as the viscous force. Okay children, now we want to get an expression for this coefficient of viscosity for that any two layers I can consider. For example, the top layer, the top layer, the first layer and the second layer I will consider. From the fixed point, the top layer is at a distance x1 and the second layer is at a distance x2. Okay, so what is uh, the distance of separation between these two layers uh, dx. It is very 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 close, is it not? It is a very close. So dx, okay, dx, dx is equal to x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2. Here x1 is larger and x2 is lesser. So I can take x1 minus x2. Like that the change in velocity between the two layers is denoted as dv. So I said v1 is greater than v2. So this must be equal to v1 minus v2. Okay. This ratio of dv by dx for any two layers. I have taken only the first layer and the second layer. You may take the first layer and the fourth layer. If it is first layer and the fourth layer means this will be x1 minus x4. 
This will be V1 minus V4. Just in general, I am taking any two layers uh, separated by distance uh, dx. Uh, the relative velocity is V1 minus V2 and uh, the distance of separation is uh, dx is equal to x1 minus x2. So dv by dx, uh, dv by dx, uh, this is uh, V1 minus V2 divided by x1 minus uh, x2 and this velocity change in velocity by the distance of separation is called by the name velocity gradient so this is a new term for you velocity gradient understand so what should be its unit what should be its unit you find out what is the change in velocity change in velocity is what a meter per second divided by this distance is in meter and hence uh, this is equal to per second per second already you have studied the uh, unit of frequency is also per second or hertz so this also per second or hertz also you can you can say because it is one by second is it good so this term dv by dx is called as velocity gradient okay now whenever these layers are flowing in one direction there will be some common area of contact between any two layers when one layer is flowing over the other layer there is some common area of contact so that common area of contact is denoted by the symbol a so common area in contact between two layers of the liquid and the dv by dx is called as what velocity gradient between any two layers now what is F here I told you, F is called the opposing force, this opposing force only is called as the viscous force, okay. So now we want to get an expression for eta, so for that now you must know that this viscous force is proportional to the common area of contact, if large area are in contact means then the opposition will also be very large and this is also directly proportional to the velocity gradient dv by dx so combining these two I can write f is proportional to a into dv by dx or f is equal to some constant some constant is it not into a dv by dx or f is equal to some constant usually the constant k symbol we will give but here it is the eta okay if eta is the symbol means it is eta times a into dv by dx since it is an opposing force you can also write f is equal to minus eta a into dv by dx Therefore, what is eta is equal to, eta only we require, is it not? Therefore, eta is equal to f divided by, so this f divided by a into dv by dx. Or you can write f into dx divided by a into dv also we can write. So, this is a the expression for coefficient of viscosity this minus sign has only one significance that it is an opposing force otherwise in magnitude without minus also we can write okay so eta is equal to f divided by a into dv by dx what are the units uh, we have to substitute now so what is the unit of uh, coefficient of viscosity so for that uh, eta is equal to the unit of force, the force is Newton, so Newton divided by, area is a meter square, so this is a meter square into dv by dx, already we have written it is s power minus 1 per second, so this is a per second, so this per second will be shifted up, it will become Newton into second and meter square will be shifted up it will become per meter square so this is the unit for the coefficient of viscosity newton second per meter square 
and the dimensions also we can derive from this itself a dimension so the dimension of uh, force force is a uh, mass into acceleration so mass into acceleration is what uh, m into l t power minus 2 this is force into second is uh, the dimension of time so into t into this is meter power minus 2 so length l power minus 2 now you adjust the terms so this is m m power 1 l power here l power 1 here l power minus 2 is there so remaining is l power minus 1 t power minus 2 into t power 1 is what a t power minus 1 so m l power minus 1 t power minus 1 is the dimension of what uh, the coefficient of viscosity so it's a uh, unit is uh, newton second per meter square and dimension is m l power minus 1 t power minus 1 so my dear students what is meant by viscosity viscosity is the property of the liquid which opposes the relative motion between the different layers of the liquid shortly you can say it is liquid friction that's all there is some friction so very strong and uh, dense liquids like the honey castor oil and glycerin and all will have greater viscosity okay while alcohol and water lighter liquids with less density have less viscosity so the opposing force is called viscous force and the property of the liquid is called the viscosity so we express the viscosity of different liquids by a constant which is called the coefficient of viscosity so coefficient of viscosity is denoted by the symbol eta if eta is very large means it is a very dense liquid like honey and the castor oil when eta is very less means uh, the liquid is very light with less density and uh, lesser liquid friction okay i hope you must have understood well fine